Hello everyone. And welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to watch about the styling curtain bangs with and without heat. How can you give curtain bangs that signature swoop? There are many ways to give your bangs a bounce. We can help you find the best styling technique. For your hair length and texture, the article is based on an interview with a psychic, the full interview can be found here. Method 1. Round brush and blow dryer. First is wet your bangs. If you've just taken a shower and washed your hair. Perfect. If not, simply spritz your bangs with some water or soak them under the bathroom sink. Styling them while they're wet will help them stay voluminous and hold their shape. Consider putting some holding or texturizing spray in your hair. This can help your hair stay in place and give you even more volume. This technique works best on wavy or straight hair types. Step 2 Mist your bangs with a heat protectant spray. Always. Always. Always use a heat protectant before using heat tools on your hair. That includes blow drying. Simply spritz the product on wet or damp hair and start styling. This small step will help protect your beautiful locks from heat damage. Step 3 Blow dry the roots of your bangs up and away from your face. Hold your blow dryer in your dominant hand and a round brush in your non-dominant hand. Then, brush both sides of your bangs down in front of your face and curl the round brush up. Aim the blow dryer near your roots and keep twirling the brush and your hair upwards. Attach a narrow nozzle to your blow dryer, so it's easier to direct where the air blows. Step 4 Dry each side of your bangs in the direction you want them to fall. Once the top and roots are dry, focus on the two individual sides of your bangs. Typically, the right side of curtain bangs fall to the right and the left side falls to the left. Creating that classic framing swoop. Get this look by grabbing the right side of your bangs with your round brush and flicking the hair away from your face at a right angle. Repeat on the left using a left angle. Make sure to curl the hair away from your face to achieve a soft and swoopy look. Who says your bangs have to flick out? Try rolling your brush towards your face so the tips of your bangs curl inward. Finally, brush your bangs forward and fluff them out. If your curtain bangs don't have as much volume as you'd like, repeat the second step, rolling the middle section forward and away from your face while blow drying. Use your fingers or brush to tousle them in place. And you're done. Set your styled bangs with hairspray to lock everything in place. Method 2. Flat iron. First is pull your bangs away from the rest of your hair. Tuck your hair behind your ears or secure it with a hair elastic. How you pull the rest of your hair back doesn't matter as long as your bangs are loose. This styling technique is great if you're looking for a flat and straight look and have straight or wavy hair. Step 2 Separate the left side of your bangs into two parts. Part your hair and bangs as you normally would. Then, section the left curtain of your bangs into two equal parts. Step 3 Curl each section of hair into a C with a flat iron or straightener. Grab the section closest to your face. Put it between the flat iron's tongs. And curve the hair into a C shape towards your eye. Repeat this curling method on the other left section of hair. Let the C curls rest and cool on your face as you move to the right side of your bangs. Make the outer section of hair on each side looser than the first. Basically, it'll look like a little C and a big C hugging each other. Finally, tousle your bangs and brush them out. Once the curls have cooled, use your fingers to flick the tips out and away from your face. Tousle them with your fingers or gently brush them until they fall the way you want them to. Try holding onto the roots of your bang with one hand while you flick the ends out with the other. 
consider curling the pieces of hair framing your bangs away from your face for added texture. Method 3. Curling iron. First is separate your curtain bangs from the rest of your hair. Pull your hair back with an elastic or tuck it behind your ears. Just make sure your bangs are out. Do this style on dry and relatively straight bangs for the best results. Step 2. Wrap your bangs around a curling iron barrel. Put the iron on the underside of your bangs with the clip on top. Clamp down on the bangs and curl forward while pulling the iron up until the ends are under the clip. The larger the barrel, the looser your curl will be. Step 3. Clip your bangs in place to cool. Wind or curl the hair until the curling iron barrel hits your roots. Then, carefully slide the iron out of your hair. Use a bobby pin or barrette to clip the large barrel curl in place until it's cool to the touch. Using a bobby pin or barrette isn't necessary. But it can keep your curl from falling out while you wait. Finally, direct your bangs with a round brush. Once your bangs have cooled, remove your clip and let them fall. It's okay if they're a bit wild at first. Use a round brush to gently curl them out and away from your face at an angle. Brush the left side of your bangs to the left and the right side to the right. Method 4. Hair Rollers. First is pull everything but your bangs away from your face. Use pins or hair ties to separate the rest of your hair out of your face. This way, you can focus on your bangs. This styling technique gives you a blown-out look full of volume and bounce. Step 2. Heat your bangs with a straightener or blow dryer. Hair rollers help form your hair, but they can't do their job without a little bit of heat. Quickly run a straightener through your bangs or blast them with hot air from a blow dryer. Try using a blow drying brush to heat and brush your hair all at once. Step 3. Roll your hair using a Velcro roller. Slide the roller through your bangs. As if you were brushing them from underneath. Starting at the roots. Stop at the ends and start rolling the curler towards your face, wrapping your hair with each roll. Continue rolling until you reach the roots. If the roll is a little messy, that's okay. Simply tuck the loose strands under the roller. The size roller you use is totally up to you and your hair type. If you have thinner hair, stick with a small barrel. If you have thick hair, go with a medium or large barrel. Finally, take the roller out after about 30 minutes. Keep the roller in your hair until it's cool to the touch. This can take between 15 and 45 minutes. Depending on your hair's thickness and type. Once it's cool, release the bangs from the curler and push the left side to the left and the right side to the right. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel.